Casta Calabasante Becky Zacari Monindo Zangolo Bocunde Becky Zacari Mosonteria Bande Queste Kelemando Let's give thanks to God because He's good, because His mercy endures forever. Let's thank Him because He's good, because His mercy endures forever. Interpreter, no interpreter. Let's say, Father, we give you thanks and we glorify your name. Let's give him thanks. Let's say, Father, we thank you, we exalt you, we adore you. Everybody concentrate on praying. You might leave that camera for today. We will need to work on it to improve it. That's other camera. Just concentrate on praying now. We have little time left. Let's say, Father, we thank you because you are good. We thank you for bringing us into your presence again today. Let your presence be upon us as we pray in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Lekira bakaste sekele mendele boya. Grace to pray effectively and successfully. Lord, release upon us in Jesus' name. Let us pray. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Anything that can hinder our prayers today? Father, wash them away by the blood of Jesus in Jesus' name. Lord, sanctify our lives, every one of us, before you today. Anything that can hinder our prayers. Father, wash them away by the blood of Jesus, in Jesus' name. Thank you, Holy Father. Somebody sing, Oh, the blood of Jesus. Are you singing? Anything, anything wrong with your mic? Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Lekira mino kosteria. Zengelebe kesto kori kasta kalamasante. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Amen. 
Father, we bless your name as we proceed with our transformation service of today. Father, we thank you for your mercies as we proceed with our transformation service of today in Jesus' name. Help us by your spirit in Jesus' name. To be transformed to greater glory in Christ in Jesus' name. Help us by your spirit. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen, amen and amen. Uh, we may be seated just a, a few minutes. Like, this is not really, it's not a preaching service. It's a transformation service. So we can be transformed to greater glory in Christ. So we can live as his children. No, Christians should live as Christians. Christians should live like Christians. Christians should not live like unbelievers. My baby, I like bad Say it again. We must live our lives as children of God. And live our lives to the glory of God. If we claim that we are born again, but we fail to live our lives to the glory of God, there is no way we are going to be acceptable to God like that. It's only those who say they are Christians and who are truly Christians and who obey go the word of God. Those are the ones that will inherit the kingdom of God. That's why we have to make sure we do not remain static in our walk with God. We have to move forward. You know, God said to Moses, he said to the children of Israel that they move forward. Where is that noise coming from? God said to the children of Israel to move forward. Move forward in God. That's what God wants. So we are not supposed to remain in one place. We are supposed to be moving forward every time. Oh, yeah, 
if we fail to move forward, then we are going to fail to inherit the kingdom of God. If you fail to inherit the kingdom of God, it means the only thing left for you is hellfire. And I pray that that will not be your end. That, that will not be the way you are going to end up in Jesus' name. Let's go to Ephesians. Ephesians chapter 1. Let somebody read from verse 17. Ephesians chapter 1, verse 17. That the God of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of glory, may give unto you the spirit of wisdom and revelation in the knowledge of him. Now, you need wisdom to walk with God. I said this last Sunday. We are talking of the wisdom to understand the ways of God. Why do I need to do evangelism? Why do I need to fast? Why do I need to pray? Why do I need to give to God? Why do I need to give to the poor? Why do I need to inconvenience myself to serve God? Why do I need to inconvenience myself in the name of I want to serve God? Uh, some people don't understand that. They say, some people, the only things they are ready to do for God is what is convenient. If it's not convenient, they just forget it. We can't serve God like that. You, your service to God will not be acceptable if you are only doing what is convenient. Because I can assure you there will be times God will test you by asking you to do things that are not convenient at all. And if you fail the test, it means gradually you are failing the kingdom of God. So let's ask for wisdom. We prayed this prayer last Sunday. I, I, I didn't forget. <laughs> but we need to pray it many, many times. So let's read again verses 17 and then read forward. Uh, read downward rather or forward, whichever. To read, read the two verses, 17 and 18. Ephesians chapter 1, verse 17. That the God of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of glory, may give unto you the spirit of wisdom and revelation in the knowledge of Him. Now, 
verse 18. The eyes of your understanding being enlightened, that you may know what is the hope of his calling, and what the riches, and what the riches of the glory of his, his inheritance in the saints. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now I want you to pray for yourself, everybody. Pray for yourself. Pray for yourself. Father, give me the spirit of wisdom and revelation. Spirit of wisdom and revelation. So that I can know you and serve you in spirit and in truth in the name of Jesus. The sweet of wisdom and revelation. Father, release upon me from heaven above in the name of Jesus. You cannot sit down to pray that prayer. You are not going to sit down to pray that prayer. You have to pray with concern. Lord, I need wisdom. I need wisdom. I need wisdom. Lekira mino costo corica centeria. Le crebende le bolo bolo bo shi taliaba. Thank you, Father. Lekira mino costeri, zekele mande le bobo. The spirit of wisdom and revelation in the knowledge of the living God. Father, release upon my life abundantly in the name of Jesus. Father, release upon Wisdom, wisdom, wisdom to walk with God. Wisdom to walk with God, Father, release upon me. Wisdom to understand the things of God. Pray with all your heart. Beki sakari ala mandolo bobonderi abasante. Sakala mandolo boro boro bo shindari aba. Wisdom to serve God in an acceptable manner. Father, release upon me in Jesus' name. Seki Ramino Sente Zengele Mendo Seke de Mandele Borobo Si Taria Zangalama Konde Keste Kele Borobo Si Taria Sakalamando Bakilamino Grobo Kokonde Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. 
Vekira mino sonteria, zengele bebendo. Leklebe keste, keste keribo suteria. Fill my heart with your wisdom, O God. The spirit of wisdom and revelation in the knowledge of Christ. Father, release upon my life in the name of Jesus. Break his take, Cassie Calimonendo, Caste Kelebo Bosate Zengele Mandelibo Custeria. Thank you, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. For everything you have done, Ori Masanteri Alabe, Keste Kelemando, Zangala Mangrobo Kokondes. Anything contrary to wisdom in my life, Father, uproot and cast away in Jesus' name. Thank you, Father. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. Let's look at that scripture one more time. Verse 18. Just read verse 18 now. The eyes of your understanding being enlightened, that he may know what is the hope of his calling and what the riches of the glory of his inheritance in the saints. You are going to be able to get the money. You are going to be able to get the money. You are going to be able to get the money. You are Hallelujah. Hallelujah. One more time, one more time. Thank you. English, one more time. As of your understanding be enlightened, that you can know what is the hope of his calling and what the riches of the glory of his inheritance in the saints. Grace to understand the hope of my calling. The hope of my calling. Father, release upon me, Jesus' name. What is the hope of calling? The hope of the calling I'm talking about is what do you expect after you have been born again? After you have been called into the family of God, what do you expect? What are the blessings that become your own? That's the way, that's what it means to understand the hope of his calling. When you understand the hope of his calling, 
You will understand everything God wants to give you as a result of being or, or has even given you already as a result of being born again and what he has in stock for you in the kingdom of God in the world to come that's the meaning of understanding the hope of his calling the next one is similar to it what the riches of the glory of his inheritance in the saints that is we god wants us to understand how great how rich and how great the inheritance he has for his children how rich and how great they are the inheritance of the saints of God. How rich and how great it is. How rich and how great that inheritance is. How rich, how great the inheritance is. You got it? How rich and how great that inheritance is. Be o go in ni a wen ya mi ma o lor un boche to bi to boche loro to God wants us to understand it. Hallelujah. What happened to your mic? If you had me, then let's pray that prayer. I don't know. She didn't interpret that. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. Is the interpreter back now? Yes. The prayer points again, sir. The inheritance of the saints of God in Christ. How rich and how great it is. BOT. BOT. God wants us to understand. That's the meaning of that second part of that prayer. To understand the riches of the inheritance. To understand the riches of the inheritance. And is the Holy Spirit that can make us to understand. When you understand this, it's going to compare you to be committed to Christ. The eyes of your understanding being enlightened. That ye may know what is the hope of his calling and what the riches of the glory of his inheritance in the saints. Pray that prayer for yourself. God, give me grace to open the eyes of my heart. Give me understanding to understand the hope of my calling and the riches of the glory of my inheritance in Christ. Pray. Pray that prayer for yourself. Lord, I want to understand the hope of his calling, the hope of my calling. Oluwa mo fe ni oye, 
In the name of the Lord Jesus. I want to understand the hope of my calling in Christ. I want to understand the riches of the inheritance I have in Christ. Pray. Veki sakeri ama sondele bo zengele menengre bekesto sandala balaba kando bekeste keri kesti keri bo mandele bele bele bonde kaste keri ya zandala minongro boko konde kaste kele bonde Mangrobo kokonde kaste keli ali bobo. Be kista kalabalabando. Be keste kele bolo bonde. Le kali boko ste keli ama senteri abando. Be kisa kali mando. Be kisa kalamando. You have not stood up to pray for long yet. If you are not sick, stand up. And go to the front row. Those will be second row. I told you the other time. Why did you leave the place again? Oh, I said the front row should be occupied. Until there are six people there. Six people. Leki ramino kosonde, mengre be keste kele bonde. Ori masateri alabando ba keste kele bonde. Lengro bokonde kaste, leri moson teri ba kasto kori masante. Mendele be kele bonde kaste kalabonde. Ori masateria bakila minon grobo kokonde. Le kere bebe keste keri boson teria. Se kele mama santeri bonde. Zangala mangro bakista kali monendo. Mindele be keste ze kele bonde kaste keri abonde. Bakala masanteri amasonde, lengere be kesto kori kaste keri bonde. Bori masante zakalamando, blessed be your name, blessed be your name, blessed be your name, O oh Lord, hallelujah. Blessed be your name. Blessed be your name. Blessed be your name, O Lord. Reki sakari aminonde. Sengele bekendo kasto kori masente. Mandele borobot sundari bo. In Jesus' name we pray. Let's, uh, let's read what's on the screen. Matthew chapter 13. Verse 15. Okay, let me scroll it for you down. All right. Matthew chapter 13 from verse 14. And in them is fulfilled the prophecy of Isaiah, which said, By hearing ye shall hear, and not and shall not understand, and seeing ye shall see, and shall not perceive. Yoruba. Ti ara won ni oro Isaiah wo lisi ti ise ti o wi pe 
ni gbigbo eyin o gbo ki yo si ye yin ati riri eyin o ri eyin ki yo si moye okay uh those who put bible on the front seat and are not sitting there they should give that place for those who want to sit there if you just put bible and you are not there then put your bible where you are so that somebody else can move there i want to want to be one why you want to joke or see bed if you want to be one can't wait you know let joke or see bed because there's this space there like one more space Hallelujah. Verse 14. Again. Matthew 13, verse 14. And in them is fulfilled the prophecy of Isaiah, which said, By hearing ye shall hear, and shall not understand, and seeing ye shall see, and shall not perceive. See, I want your eyes, I will see, teacher. So we pray. Now, uh, that was not a blessing. It was a curse. Why did it come upon them? Because they neglected the word of God. Verse 15. Verse 15. For these people's heart is worse gross, and their ears are dull of hearing, and their eyes they have closed. Lest at any time they should see with their eyes, and hear with their ears, and should understand with their heart, and should be converted. And I. Sure. Hold on. Yeah. Hold on, let me. And I should. And I should heal them. Yoba. Nitorita ye. Nitorita yawini and ye say bo. Etsy wants you war like bo. Oh, you want. Ne wants ye dee. Nitoriki want your mother. Oh, you want you want see Okay. Oh, you want you want see dee. Nitoriki want your mother. If you want ye. Ki wan ki o ma ba fi e ti wan gbo. Ki wan ki o ma ba fi a ya wan mo. Ki wan ki o ma ba yi pa da. Ki e mi ki o ma ba mo wan la ra da. 16. Verse 16. But blessed are your eyes, for they see, and your ears, for they hear. Now you are... Okay, go ahead. Su gba yi bukon e fun o ju yin. Ni to ri ti wan ri. A ti fun e ti yin. Ni to ri ti wan gbo. Now you are going to pray. Every blindness of heart in my heart. Father, I pray and cast them away in Jesus' name. Vocalize your prayer. Every blindness of heart in my life. Father of fruit and cast them away in Jesus' name. I want to Zengele Kekesto. Urima Satele Bobonde. Lengrobo Kokonde Kaste. Are you praying? You are looking behind. Is that how to pray? Look, look. You are, okay, please change that person from the front seat. He's not concentrating. Can you hear me, please? He's not concentrating. Take him to the seat behind. Move somebody forward who is going to concentrate. You are not in church to play. You are in church to pray. You can't be greeting people when you are in church. Let the adults come to the front. I don't know what you are running from. What is chasing you from the front seat? Let the children go to the second row and the adults come to the front seat.
The adults on the second row should move to the front seat. If you are an adult and you are in second row, move to the front seat. That is the. Uh, Every blindness of heart in my life. Father, uproot and cast them away in Jesus' name. Every blindness of heart in my life. Father, uproot and cast away in Jesus' name. Anything I did. To make my heart uh, uh, hardened. That's Father, forgive me in Jesus' name. We are praying about two things now. Blindness of heart. And hardness of heart. So uh, sometimes when God tells you something and you don't obey in time, and he tells you first time, second time, third time, you are not obeying. Somehow that will cause your heart to be hardened. Say every hardness of heart in my life father forgive me and take away hardness of heart from me in jesus name give me a sensitive heart a heart that is alive to the will of god that's what Ezekiel calls a heart of flesh. It doesn't mean heart of animal. He's talking about a heart that is not hardened. How did you say the other time? Uh-huh. Every hardness of heart in my life. Father, uproot and cast away in Jesus' name. Zendelemenengrebekekendo. Zanda la mama de boboya. Leki rabiko kasti kalimande. Mengere bekesto zanda la makonde. Ori ma kaste keri abasante. Lengere bekeste kere bonde. Ori momo sante zaki alimonde. Every hardness of heart in my life. Father, forgive me and uproot it in Jesus' name. Replace every hardened heart with a heart of flesh, a sensitive heart. In the name of Jesus. Bonde <laughs> Leri boko stekeria. Sendele makunderia. 
Thank you, Father. Sacramando, Vakilam Innocente. Every hardness of heart in my life. Father, take them away in Jesus' name. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Cause every address of heart to be removed from my life in the mighty name of Jesus. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord, for heart in me. I pray that you put them for my life and cast them out by the Spirit and your power. In the mighty name of Jesus. 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 Every blindness of heart. Every hardness of heart. Say it like that. In my life. Father, transform them today. In Jesus' name. To become. Let a blind. Let blindness of heart be be replaced by understanding and let a hardened heart be replaced by a sensitive heart in jesus name let us pray Mangrobo kokonde keste keri keste keri abosote. In Jesus' name we pray. Let's read what's on the screen. English reader. Can I get English reader? Uh, let me get from Bongalo this time. Let's make sure they are. Uh, with us in everything we are doing. Bongalo, English reader. Your microphone, what's wrong with it? Okay. Go on now. Something's wrong with your mic. Okay, I better call read now. The, the mic is now okay. Ezekiel 36, verse 26. A new heart also will I give you, and a new spirit will I put within you. And I will take away the stony heart out of your flesh, and I will give you a heart of flesh. Can you see what I was saying now? Yoba? Okay. So the heart of flesh there is not heart of animal. It's talking of a heart that is not hardened. Uh -huh. Now pray for that. Lord, give me a new heart. Replace every blind heart, every blindness of heart replaced with revelation, understanding, replace every stubborn heart, every dullness of heart, every hardened heart replaced with a sensitive heart in my life, in Jesus' name. Pray. Pray. Go ahead now. Okay. 
o kan ti o wa laaye si nkan ti olorun pray sensitive heart some people are so sensitive to the holy spirit they cannot do what is wrong for 5 minutes and not know awon kan wa won ni mo dara si nkan ti ebi mimo won le se nkan si o dara laarin ise jumarun ki won ma mo they will know something in their system will we raise a red flag that's the way we should be pray for yourself again lord take away every blindness of heart from my life everything satan has done to blind my heart to the things of god father uproot and cast them away from my life in jesus name give me a heart of understanding a heart of revelation replace blindness of heart with the spirit of wisdom and revelation in the name of the Lord Jesus. Replace every stubborn and callous and hardened heart with a heart of flesh. Every hardened heart, every callous heart, every stubborn heart. Pray for yourself. Pray for yourself. Sekeribo, Kastikalima, Santeleboya. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Lekilamino Coste, Zengele Menengrebe Kendo. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. Can we read what's on the screen? Who is going to help us? Psalm 103, verse 7. He made known his grace unto Moses, his acts unto the children of Israel. Amen. Amen. Let somebody read it. Thank you. Let somebody read it again from Elijah Assembly. Let's be sure they are following. Is your yes. screen not working or is it working? Elijah Assembly, we are not hearing anything from them. What's going on there? Okay, they are not ready. Okay, read again. Abeko, read again. Psalm 103, verse 7. He made known his ways unto Moses, his acts unto the children of Israel. Yoruba. Now, you need to know the ways of God. Not only the acts of God. What did you say? To know the acts of God means you have seen his miracles happen, you have seen his mighty power demonstrated. But you may not know his ways. And that's not good. What will make you to know the ways of the Lord, that's what we teach you how to walk with God. Like Enoch, Bible says Enoch walked with God and pleased God to the extent that God took him to heaven alive. 
nigba to ba rin pelu olorun bibeli so pe olorun pe eloku o rin pelu olorun okay you can sit down now when i'm explaining you can sit down if we are explaining then once we finish explanation it's good to stand up again but you can sit down now if you have any challenge with your leg you are exempted just stand as far as you can but if you don't uh it will help you to pray sincerely i mean more effectively hallelujah hallelujah Enoch walk with God and please God. To the extent that God took him to heaven alive. Because he pleased God. Why, why that happened was because he knew the he understood the ways of God. So that's why Moses was the one always interceding for the children of Israel because he was the one close to God. The rest of them, they didn't understand the ways of God. They only saw his miracles. The rest, the rest. I want your cool. I want to cool. One more, no red. What come on? Yeah, when say, yeah, no red. They saw when God parted the Red Sea. Oh, you need to go to the Lord. They saw how he overthrew Pharaoh and his army in the Red Sea. How he overthrew them, how he destroyed them. Oh, say, power, no, you know, Kukupa. They saw how God brought water out of the rock. They saw how God turned bitter water into sweet water. They saw how God destroyed mighty armies, giants, before the children of Israel. But after seeing all this thing, they still sinned against God. They still rebelled against God. So the extent that at the time of Isaiah, God was lamenting that they have rebelled against him. What is short as you? God there was expressing his uh, displeasure that is uh, his unhappiness his sadness that they have because they had rebelled against god that was because they only knew the acts of god they didn't know the ways of god Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So it's important for us to know the ways of the Lord. Let's read this. Let's read this. Psalm 95. Louder. Call it louder. Psalm 95, verse 8. Harden not your heart, as in the provocation, and as in the day of temptation in the wilderness. Emma Shaya Yile, be it Mary Ba, at the be your donor, the Massa, ne Agiju. Verse 9. Verse 9. When your fathers tempted me, prove me and saw my work. Nick Batty, I want to buy you, dummy woe. To what I did me, to what you reshare me. Verse 10. Forty years long was I grieved with this generation and said, It is a people that do err in their heart and they have not known my ways. Look at that. They have not known my ways. That was the problem. Yoba. Oh, God, you are not taught. You know me if you buy Jesse, you know. 
mo ni eniyan ti o sina ni aya ni won won ko si mo ona mi lo ti ri beyan o won ko mo ona mi this is why you need to pray that prayer lord help me to know yes. your ways reveal your ways to me give me understanding of your ways idi ni ti o gbadu gbadu a pe oluwa e je ti mo ona yin e fi o ona yin han mi verse 11 verse 11 unto whom my spirit in my heart that they should not enter into my rest look at that that was the consequence of not knowing the ways of the lord a consequence of not knowing the ways of the Lord. They will not enter into his rest. If you translate that to our New Testament time, it means they will not enter into the kingdom of God. Read verse 11 in Yoruba. I want anything most if you are funny, be no me pay, want you or why be same in me. So when you don't know the ways of the Lord, you cannot walk in what you don't know. So you will not be able to please God. And there you will end up in hell. And you tell a Christian, I, I don't give bribe, it's not good. If you tell a Christian, don't give bribe, it's not good. He will smile, hey, you don't understand, you are not a businessman. It's tough there, you know, we have to survive. I can't read him, you say it's tough out there. He will say it is tough out there in the business world. Uh, you don't know. He said, said we have to survive. He say God understands. I said, if your man go eat now. He will say, Well, we have to survive. So he will excuse giving bribe. That's because he doesn't understand the ways of the Lord. He doesn't know sin and gas God. He doesn't know sin disqualifies you from being acceptable in the presence of God. This is just an example. It's not bribery alone. Any sin, adultery, fornication, drunkenness, Lying. Every type of sin. Living together without marriage. And you are you are you know that's a life of sexual immorality. How can you do that and inherit the kingdom of God? Hatred, hating your neighbor. Every type of sin, jealousy, strife, they will turn you against God. They will make you like an enemy to God. They will stop you from inheriting the kingdom of God. So now let's pray. Lord, the grace to know your ways. And not just your acts. Father, release upon my life in Jesus' name. Let us pray now. Let us pray now.
Grace to know the ways of the Lord. And not just the acts of God. Father, release upon my life, release upon my heart abundantly in Jesus' name. Pray now, pray now, pray now. Lekira bokoste zekele makande boya. Lengele be keste keri keste keli bokosonderi ya. Sandala mama sateria sangolo boko koro bonde sekle bele bele beste. Lord, I want to know your ways. I want to know your ways. Not just the acts of God. Reveal your ways to me like you reveal your ways to Moses. Honor, 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 honor. Be a teacher for him. Be a teacher for him. Be a teacher for him. Be a Oluwa fi ona re han mi gege bi e ti fi han Moses ni igbesi aye re Show me your ways like you showed Moses in the day in his days in his days on the earth Give me grace to know the ways of the Lord not just the acts of the Lord in the name of Jesus Oluwa fi awon ona yin han mi bi e se fi han Moses ni igba aye re ki se se ni nikan to so in Jesus' name we pray. Put your right hand on your head. But I pray for everyone hearing my voice now. Grace to know the ways of the Lord. And not only the acts of God. Father, release upon them in Jesus' name. Release it upon their lives right now from heaven above in Jesus' name. The Bible says you reveal your ways to Moses. So he was able to walk with you and excel. Father, I pray for everyone hearing my voice today. Reveal your ways to them so they can walk with you excellently in excellence in Jesus' name. So they can hate sin and hate what you hate and love what you love in Jesus' name. Thank you, Holy Father. Thank you, Holy Father. In Jesus' name I pray. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen and amen. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 When God was talking to one of the angels, Bible calls it the angel uh, of the churches, the, you know, the seven churches in Asia. In Asia. You know, the seven churches in Asia. The uh, Bible calls them angels, but what that means there is messengers. Uh, it's the pastors of those churches. Those are the ones he call angels there. Uh, to one of them, he mentioned that he hates the deeds of the Nicolaitans. Nicolaitans. 
So there are things God hates. And they are sinful things. They are sinful things. Everything God hates is sinful. So I want you to pray for yourself. Grace to hate what God hates. And to love what God loves. Father, release upon my heart in Jesus' name. Let us pray, everybody. Pray that prayer for yourself. Grace to love what God loves. To hate what God hates. Father, release upon my heart in Jesus' name. Pray. Pray. Derimo Santeria, Saklama Castara. The grace to hate what God hates. And to love what God loves. Father, release upon my life in Jesus' name. Pray. That will help you to please God. Break his sacalamando. Mango bocori caste kerebo sonteria. Lengerebe kesto. Bekise keribonde. Leki sakaramando robo robo shinda la babata. Lengro boko konde keste keri mosante. Leki ramas entere bobonde. Bekilamino Soteria. Beki Sakaria Minonde. Zengele Bekeste Kerebo. Zendele Borebonde. Beki Sakalaba Grace. So hate what the Lord hates. And to, and to love everything He loves. Father, release upon my heart in the name of Jesus. Break his sacarimono centeria. Mangro boko conde castecaria. Break his sacaria minonde. Mangro boko conde casta calabando. Le keri bosonteria. Mengro boko konde. Kaste keri masita la bonde. Le kira bonde. Kasta kalamando. Mangro boko konde. Grace to love what you love. Ori ofe. La ti fe. Kanti ofe. And to hate what you hate. Father, release upon me in Jesus' name. Release upon my heart in Jesus' name. Thank you, Father. Make sure you are praying. In Jesus' name, we pray. Let somebody read on the screen for us. 
Revelation chapter 2, verse 12. And to the angel of the church in Pergamos, write, This thing said, He which had the sharp sword with two edges. You will follow. At the sea, Angel is joining Pergamon for way. In come on, you know, it's only that. Me more load you made you, me we pay. Verse 13. I know thy works, and where thou dwellest, even where Satan cities, and thou oldest last past my name, and thou oldest past my name, and hast not denied my faith, even in those days, wherein Antipas was my faithful Matthias, who was slain among you, where Satan dwelleth. Emi my share, atibiti wonge, ani ibiti te satani wa. Ati pe wo ju oruko mi mu sisin ti wo ko sise igbagbo mi ni ojo won ni ninu eyi ti antipa ni se oloto ajeriku mi en ti won pa ninu yin ni bi ti satani ngbe verse 14 but i have a few things against thee because thou hast there them that hold the doctrine of Balaam who taught Balak to cast a stumbling block before the children of Israel to eat things sacrificed unto idols and to commit fornication. To go more in can, dear, we see all. Need to read him. You want me, I want your dear, a party, Balamu. You want me, I want your dear, a party, Balamu, money bay. And if you call Balaku, Lati, more in Cosa, was you are your own, my Israeli. Lati, my dear, on Tia Paru, was your Risa, at Lati, my say, I believe. Verse 15. So as thou also them, so as thou also them that hold the doctrine of the Nicolaitans, which things I hate. Benny was seen here once you buy a farm one, Nico, later Nipedu, on Timokori Ram. Verse 16 Repent, or else I will come unto thee quickly, and will fight against them with the sword of my mouth. Rolo Kuada, people say, Ben, a mute or one is he. Look at that. Verse 15. Read it again, verse 15. Verse 15. So as so as thou also them that hold the doctrine of the Nicolaitans, which things are hate. Look at that. God hates it. Yoba. Then he was sinning. I want you by a quiet one, you can let her nip and you, or Timoko Rira. Read now to 17. Verse 16. Repent, or else I will come unto thee quickly, and we fight against them with the sword of my mouth. Rono Piwada, you could say, Bear, a mute or one is he say ye, a mute if he die no me by one jar. Verse 17. He that hath an heir, let him hear what the Spirit said unto the churches. To him that overcometh, will I give to it of the hidden manna, and will give him a white stone, and in the stone a new name written, which no man knoweth, saving he that receiveth it. And it will be an eighty, two volunteer means of power one in your, and it will be a second, the milk manna to your palm of Mujer, a music for new Kuta from Funkon, at his hour of Kuta no. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I think I'll let you go. Time is going. Let me let you go. But we are uh we had a lot of delay at the beginning. We didn't finish. So these prayers are important for us to pray. We are still, we are still going to continue with these prayers because they are very important for us to pray. So, so that we can seek God's face to transform our lives. To greater levels in Christ. The Lord will help us in Jesus' name. Look at that now. See verse 16. Read it again. 
verse 16. Repent, or else I will come unto thee quickly. I will fight against them with the sword of my mouth. Is Jesus talking there? <laughs> Look at that. Hmm. Some people think Jesus is always soft, soft, soft. <laughs> Sometimes he takes out a whip. Sometimes he will not even take a whip. It's going to be a sword. Look at it here. See, I will fight against them with the sword of my mouth. So let's spread this and then I'll let you go. What are the deeds of the Nicolaitans? No time today. We'll explain later. They are things of the flesh. No time to explain that today. We'll talk about that later. Things of that incline you to the flesh more and more. They are the deeds of the Nicolaitans. If you translate that to today, you talk of it will be referring to painting your leaves, painting all, all these kind of fleshly things that people do. Paul's nails. I don't know why you are not satisfied with your natural nails. You go and wear false nails. And you say one pastor's wife, one bishop's wife is wearing it. <laughs> People who do things like that, God is not happy with them. You better know. You say, then why do they have money? They have private jet. And you are telling me God is not happy with them. Go and read your Bible. A time Sodom and Gomorrah was destroyed, they had plenty of prosperity. One of the things the, the prophet said later was that part of their sin was fullness of bread. They were greedy. They, I mean, the, if the, sin, the prophet was talking of fullness of bread, that means there was no shortage of bread. Huh? Go and read again the children of Israel when God said they rebelled against him. They were living in prosperity at that time. They had money. Money was not the problem. So that you have money, that, that does not mean God is happy with you. If you are not living a holy life, God is not happy with you. You are going to end up in hell. So let me stop. I say I will stop. I better stop and let you go. Now, deeds of the Nicolaitans, God hates it. Now, pray. Everything God hates, Lord, help me to hate them and to love what God loves. Pray for yourself. Stand up and pray. If you have no challenge with your legs, stand up. Zandala mama bobo robo shanta. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord.
In Jesus' name we pray. Put your right hand on your head again. Father, I pray for everyone hearing my voice. Grace to love what Jehovah God loves. And to hate what Jehovah God hates. Father, pour this grace upon their hearts in Jesus' name. Pour this grace upon their hearts in Jesus' name. Baptize them with this grace of God in Jesus' name. Thank you, Holy Father. Thank you, Holy Father. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen and amen. Shout hallelujah. Amen. Now add this and then you go. Well, beat down my enemies before my face. Pray that prayer and there you go. And after that, you go next week. Continue. Father, beat down all the enemies of my life before my face in the name of Jesus. Pray in the name of Jesus. Father, beat down all the enemies of my life before my face in the name of the Lord Jesus. Secrebonde, Kestikelibo, Castacalaba, Sante Lema Masante, Lengrobo, Kestekeria, Castekelibo. Pray for yourself, pray for yourself, pray for yourself. Pray for your children, your spouse. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. Put your right hand on your head again. But I pray for all these, your children. Every enemy of their lives. Whether in their finances. In their health. In their offices, their places of work. In the neighborhood where they live. In their hometown, their families, their father's house, mother's house. Father, beat down all their enemies before their faces, every one of them, in Jesus' name. Father, I pray that you dispatch me strangers right now to beat down all their enemies before their faces, every one of them, in Jesus' name. Beat down their enemies before their faces, in Jesus' name. Thank you, Holy Father. Thank you, Holy Father. Thank you for hearing our prayers. Anything I can hear any of the prayers we pray today, Father, forgive us and wash them away by the blood of Jesus in Jesus' name. 
All personal prayers of your children. All every prayer they have prayed with their mouths today in your presence. Everything good for them and for your glory. Lord, perform these things for them excellently in Jesus' name. Thank you, Holy Father. Thank you, Holy Father. In Jesus' name, I pray. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. 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 Shout hallelujah. Shout hallelujah. Shout hallelujah. Shout a triumphant hallelujah. Shout a triumphant hallelujah. Amen and amen. All right, uh, children, we, someone say, why did I tell children to go to the second row? We love children, but sometimes children don't concentrate. That's why we prefer adults sit on the front row. You understand? Agato Aleni, Agato, Toteleti, Wadju. Okay, Agato Toteleti, Wadju. It is a fishele in the UK. I want my dear Babylon, I want if you are concealed, Conti, and say, it didn't eat us up. I want Balaba, so what's you, Wadju? I want my dear Kuala, I got so one day, it's you, Wadju. So we love children, we have nothing against them, they are children. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Shout hallelujah. Hey, hallelujah. Amen.